and do this video on <clears throat> mangoes that you plant as three gallons, small three gallons from Zills and uh, a year and four months later they've gotten like five times as big as they were and now they're loaded with fruit without ever having to water them. Uh, Florida is really amazing. It's really freaking amazing that you can do this here without any sprays. And what's really amazing, this is what I, my goal is to have these young mangoes give me a lot of fruit the first year they're in the ground, or the, yeah, the first year they're in the ground, and um, keep growing and give me more fruit the next year. So by the time they're four-year-old trees, they've already given me at least a hundred fruit. Because that's, you know, eight bucks a seed. What is that? $800? But this little, uh, trying to find tag. It's a sweet tart, my favorite mango, of course. I thought I would recognize the foliage. Is pushing bloom, uh, new growth. Possibly a second bloom on some. And like dozens of fruit. Like too many, too many fruit. Sorry, sweetheart, you're my favorite, but I know better than to let that happen. I don't want a bunch of tiny little fruits. Even though sweet tart can ripen up perfectly. So never being watered. Now what's different about this tree that it was planted with this ginger when this ginger was like tiny and uh, next to a sugar apple and then all these weeds. But it seems like all these little trees, you know, along here next to the ginger, they just like do it. This one's doing new growth too. I mean, because we have to produce fruit. That's what I want to be known for, not, not just some sky on wood, orange sherbet. New growth, seven, six feet tall. Lots of mangoes. This is from the freeze. I can't wait to try orange sherbet. So anyway, I just don't be afraid to experiment planting plants with your mangoes because that's your fertilizer. <laughs>